Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Marcus and today in this video I'm going to share with you how to design this poster in Adobe Illustrator. So let's go. So the first thing is let's make a copy of this poster really quick so I have a reference and then let's make a new document. I'm going to use uh, 1700 by 2400 pixels in vertical orientation and just press create. Cool, I just put my hard board here, I'm going to paste my other poster, I'm going to scale it down so I have a very small reference on the side and let's start. So the first thing we want to do, actually it's good to have a poster here so I can explain what I'm, where we're going to start. So the first thing I want to do is to create these organic shapes here. So they kind of like very gooey like shapes and I like to create this type of shapes like very organic using the pencil tool. So let's go to get the, to the side, side toolbar sorry, and get the pencil tool here. And let's start creating some really nice organic shapes. Make sure to close the shapes here, otherwise then when you fill it, it doesn't work as, as well. I'm gonna make a few of them. Really loose and organic. The idea is just to fill it up the artboard with them, we can go around each other, making them as interesting as you can as well. Be sure to make them like very curvy, so you have like this really nice shape where then we're gonna put a typography in. So let's make sure it's actually big enough as well to have the typography inside. I'm going to continue doing, I like to make this as if it was like, a, you know, stones around or something like a pavement seen from the top. I'm going to continue doing, I like to have these small ones on the sides as well to complement the corners here. It's like a small one here as well. Keep it doing and keep it, make sure to make it as organic as you, as you can. And also play with the sizes of the shapes because it's really important to have like different sizes to make this composition a little bit more interesting. So if you have like smaller ones and then you have like some ones that are actually really big and take a lot of space, it's okay as well. It also helps in the design because then we have less space to fill. <clears throat> Sorry. And let's keep going here, a smaller one here. And another one here, make it a more vertical one. I like these ones as well. And then maybe I can fit like a couple of them here really nicely. Something like this. Perfect. So the idea is to create these shapes, create with a pen tool, with a pencil tool, and then let's go add some color to them. So the, I'll, as always, I just go to the uh, swatches in like Illustrator, go to Windows, swatches, and then this time I use the kids stuff because I felt like this was a very playful poster. So I was like, you know what? What's more playful than kids? toys and his kids toys colors. So that's what I went with it. With it. I'm going to close this now because we're going to use those basic basic dots graphics later. But first, let's apply some colors. Feel free to play any color you want. Just like be sure to remove the stroke in the end. But like just select on shape and then apply some color. Don't go too crazy. Like uh, like have like 10 types of colors. Select like a few colors and then apply them to like a few shapes as well. Like I'm going to just select these three shapes here and then I'm going to apply maybe a nice pink, select these ones here and then apply a really nice, let me see, like a nice blue, baby, like a nice baby blue, I think that's how they call it. And maybe this one here as well, maybe I can introduce another color actually, maybe a purple, purple would be nice, I love this color set in Illustrator, I think they are so nice. It, because they are already like color collections made for you and you can just like go there, reuse them. Maybe I will introduce another color? No, maybe maybe I think the, the purple will work. I don't want to introduce a lot of colors in here. But I think I need because otherwise all the colors will match there. Maybe I'll introduce like an orange color, something like this. Yeah. And then this one could be yellow. Oh, not purple. Oh, no, not purple. Maybe purple here. And then we make this one yellow. Yes. Cool. And then make this one orange. So the main thing is to create these shapes. I know I went way more detail on my example, but I don't want to spend too much time doing this. I just want to explain to you how to do it. So let's select this all and then let's remove the stroke here. So now we have a free shape with no strokes. Then the next thing is let's select them all again. Let's go to edit, copy and edit, paste in place. This is very important for the next step. 
So the next step, what we're going to do, it's adding these little dots graphics in the shapes. And that's why we needed a new copy. We're actually going to add these graphics over the new copy we just made. So let's select these ones and then let's go to the knife tool here. We can find it under the eraser because normally you have the eraser on here. So go to the knife tool and make a cut. Yeah. Be sure to make a cut until it reaches the other end, otherwise it's not going to work. I'm just going to select a few of them already and then I'm going to make a general cut like this. going to get the knife tool and then just go around making a really nice cut around. So we already sliced a few of these shapes. And then I'm going to make a few of those as well. This is definitely a faster way to do it. I can slice this one again if I want. So I'm going to make this. Be sure to slice all of them really nicely. Something like this. And then this one, this one, and then that one. Cool. <laughs> I think it works. So what we're going to apply now to these sliced parts is we're going to go to just click here. You can just go to the libraries very quickly. And then we go to patterns basic graphics and then basic graphic dots. So, and then on these cutted parts here we have now, we can just apply a really nice dots on the fill, not on the stroke. Be, be careful. What it's, the way this works, it actually goes to transparent. So if we didn't have like another shape placed in place, when we've done this, it will go to white. No, not this one. Now we will go directly to white, which is the color of the background. And we don't really want that. That's why we make an, we made a new copy and paste it in place. <laughs> Let's go here and do the same thing. We can vary the dots we want to use, which is nice. Just be sure to make it like as, as different as you can. I'm going to select this part here. I'm going to apply some dots there. There's a lot that there's a lot of nice dots here. You can actually go here and then, uh, make the view large so you can actually see not in the list, uh, large thumbnail. So here now you can actually see how big the dots are in comparison to each other. So maybe not this one, maybe this one is better and this one as well. Be sure to experiment with all of them. So create a really nice texture in your poster. And let's just go, maybe I'm going to go on this one here and in this one. This one here, because it's such a big shape, we don't really want a very detailed texture there as well. The shape as itself is a big statement already, so we don't want to make sh like grab even more attention to it. Yeah, let's make this one here. Yeah, this one is missing some graphic dots there. Oh, that's too much. Let's go and then this one. And did we finish? Oh, we didn't cut that one. Let's just make a little small cut there to apply a nice texture. And that's it. So our shapes are finished and we have a nice texture on them. So let's go select them all and then right click and then group them. So this is easy to move them around if we need to and even to scale them up or down. So the next thing, let's just add some typography. I'll really, when I'm designing a poster, I really want to add typography as soon as, as, soon as I can. So gonna use the same word I used, the same code, which was keep, let's make this bigger. Actually going to click on a type tool again, make it visible. <laughs> I used keep creating, which is like a self inspiring code for myself. And then I'm going to use Helvetica, of course, I'm actually working on a video about Helvetica. I really want to tell the history of fonts and I'm working on a video about the history of Helvetica font. So yeah, it's going to be fun. Create outlines to, okay. I'm going to just going to right click, create outlines so I can actually move them individually and then ungroup them. Perfect. Now I'm going to start spreading the, the fonts, the letters around my poster in these different shapes. I'm going to make them white already because it's easy to see. And there I'm going to use E here. Again, you can play with the sizes which is, which makes your poster way more interesting. If you have, if everything has the same size, it gets a little bit like corporate or boring. And when we are designing these posters, it's just to use, to explore a bit of our creativity and to help us to be more creative, even when we are doing like a little bit more boring work for our clients. It's not boring work is like clients can't have like way too crazy things. That's why I do this poster tutorial so I can be crazy somewhere else. 
cool I buy these flatters around just make sure they go really nicely and rotate them play with the sizes this is a free space guys and girls this is a free space where you can explore I don't I think I'm gonna change the dots there actually let's just make them a little bit more prominent Cre creating and this one I'm gonna make really big because it has a really nice shape here I'm gonna make it wide a Oh, wait, probably it's going to be small, but maybe I'm going to invert it. And then Ting. Ting definitely can go here. IGN. ING, sorry. Creating. Actually, if we left, I'm not going to leave the background white, but if we left the background white, the fonts in black will work really nicely as well. So, but I'm going to use the black background. Just because I made the example like that. I'm gonna make G here. Like this. Perfect. Oops. So I'm gonna close this now and then I'm gonna add some extra elements. So as you can see here, maybe not this one, you I had a little bit of like these circles, ellipses, and some lines. So just gonna add them with the ellipse tool and with a line segment tool as well. Let's go on a toolbar again get the line segment tool uh, maybe let's just make the background I'm gonna get the rectangle tool and then I'm gonna make a really nice background for our poster send it to the back and then just make it black yeah I like it black because it makes the colors pop a little bit more which is cool oh actually the A and the N are sharing a shape which they shouldn't so the N needs to move here but then, uh, this is this is awkward. So maybe should the A be here creating? Yeah, the A should be here. Nice. Now let's go get to the toolbar, get the line segment tool, and let's make a few line segments. <laughs> That's it. Not very original code. I'm gonna make it. Oh, he's using the stroke from the dots. I'm gonna make the stroke white at 10 pixels and I'm going to spread a few of them in here like this nicely spread it just to add a little bit of noise and like some interestingness with our poster let's just see add as many as you want or don't even add anything I just I just like to add them just to add a little bit more detail it looks more valued, I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the ellipse tool. I'm gonna to get the ellipse tool here. I'm gonna make it yellow actually, just gonna get the yellow color here really quick. And then using the ellipse tool, I'm gonna to make a few ellipses here with the same stroke size and spread a few ellipses around our poster. Just again to add a little, bit, a little bit more detail. Make sure to spread them nicely. Something like this. And yeah. Nice. It's almost there, I think. We just need to add a few more details, I believe. I think I had a little bit more details. No, actually, no. I think this is pretty much it. Yeah. I will leave it to you with this now. <laughs> I, I used I had a bit more details because I had a few using the blob tool, a few highlights like in white, like this. But then I was like, you know what? Maybe this is way too much detail. You can add it, but I felt I didn't need it because there was already a lot of things happening. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this poster today. I know it's a very quick tutorial, and but I think it was very fun visual. And I really wanted to share this with you. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe and leave me a comment. I love when you guys leave comments and encourages me to keep doing these posters and sharing my techniques with you. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.